Hi guys, got a request from Juan Rodriguez to make a car from a milk carton and a balloon. So I assume we're talking about a balloon powered car. There's lots of sorts of milk cartons in the world. This is the one I'm going to use, it's a plastic one. It's a bit of an odd shape if you look down the length of it. They've actually carved the corners off it so it fits better in your fridge. But that's what I'm stuck with. I'd rather have a square shaped one. But we'll use that. For wheels, we'll use the good old CDs with bottle tops in the middle. If you don't know how to make these, there'll be a link in the video description to show you how to make them. That'll save me a bit of time. And I'll use barbecue skewers as the axles. So that's going to save me time. Got them ready made. Obviously we need some balloons. There's several ways of fitting your balloon to your car. The easiest way is to take some sticky tape Double it up on itself so it's sticky on the outside. You might need quite a bit of it. And then when you blow your balloon up, you just stick it on top that'll hold it in place while it lets the air out the back. As you could see that actually came off but it depends a bit on how good your sticky tape is. The other way we can do it is drill a hole in the end here, stick the balloon on a plastic tube of a suitable size, maybe a big pen, plastic pen or something like that. And then that can be the jet of air going out the back. Depending on how big that hole is, depends on what sort of jet of air you get out. If it's too big, you lose too much power. And if it's too small, you lose too much power. So you may need to experiment to get the best sized tube. So I shall mark this up so we can put our axles through the carton. A good idea to try and align them so the car goes straight. At the back here we've got a seam goes all the way round so I can use that to line it up. At the front there isn't a convenient seam, seam far enough forwards but you should be able to measure from there up to there so that you've got it the same on both sides. The only tool I intend to use is this scissor these scissors, but obviously I've already used a hot glue gun to stick the bottle tops onto the CDs. If you haven't got a hot glue gun, then you'll have to find some sort of glue. You could potentially tape them on, but it doesn't work very well. Instead of bottle tops, you could just put pieces of cardboard over there, because your problem is the middle of the CD has got a big hole in it and it, your axle won't um, stay in place. So if you put cardboard on both sides, covering the hole and then drill a hole through the middle of the cardboard, that will hold your axle in place. Right, I'll do some marking up. I've got a pen and I've got a piece of wood. Put the pen on the piece of wood and then move the car, the car, the bottle along so we get a line.
so that, that line should be the same height on both sides. And then we need to measure from that seam forwards. I'm going to measure six inches in this case. If you get this right, the car will go straight. If you get it wrong, the car won't go very straight. And I usually get it a bit wrong. My cars quite often go off at a bit of an angle. Now ideally, you'd make the holes with some sort of sharp thing like a nail. I'm going to use this. You want to make sure it's plenty big enough for your axle to go through. It mustn't be tight, it's got to be nice and loose. And because this plastic's so soft, the whole thing's bending as I'm doing this. Right, next thing we need to do is decide where the balloon's going to go. So the easy thing will be to cut a hole in the top here so that the balloon can sit down in and also stick out the back. And that will also help us push all this um, buckling out again. That should be quite handy because we can now hold it to make sure those holes are all right. If you push something like a red hot nail through here, that will make a perfect hole for you. Make sure there's a bit of a gap. Okay, so that's our basic car. Now we need a hole at the back here. Do be careful holding scissors open like this, you're going to cut yourselves with them. That needs to be quite a big hole, so we won't be able to get that through it. go. Now that's actually quite tight, that'll probably hold in place. But if yours is a bit too loose, stick some tape around it and that'll hold it still for you. But we should now be able to blow that up. Right. 
that's jamming up against there so I'll cut the rest of that out so there's more room. straight off the table. That works. Let's see if it goes up the kitchen. Maybe not with that balloon. It is quite a small balloon. But that worked. Summary time. What have we got? We got a balloon powered car made from a milk carton, four CDs for the wheels, eight plastic bottle tops for the hubs, two barbecue skewers for the axles and if you don't know how to make these there'll be a link in the video description then we've got a balloon on a bit of plastic tubing to hold it in place you might want to add a bit of sticky tape on the outside to stop it blowing through the other thing you might want to do is either cover these edges with tape or trim them down a little bit more because, as you probably heard, I managed to burst one of the balloons, and I think it may have been on the sharp edge. So, you might want to think about that. The advantage of keeping those sides quite high is it means the balloons won't rub against the wheels. And if they rub against the wheels, it will slow the car down. So, it might just be better to put some sticky tape over there or something to stop there being any sharp edges. But that's it. Job done. I'd recommend a bigger balloon.